Hello my friends, Bearski here. This is how you play Minecraft directly from your Quest 2. No link to PC required. This is a special guide for anyone that has never owned Minecraft Java. That's Minecraft for PC. If you followed other guides and keep getting login errors, or failure to log in, or anything, or sign in errors, despite following other content creators' advice, then lucky you, you found the one that actually works. Now, before we get going, there are a few requirements in order to get set up. There is one major, huge requirement before you begin. You must use a Microsoft Outlook.com or Hotmail.com email account to set up SideQuest and purchase Minecraft Java Edition. The email used between both need to be the same in order to log into QuestCraft. If you already purchased Minecraft with a different email, you can change your SideQuest email to match your Microsoft one. I know this because this is what I had to do. I had a Gmail account for my SideQuest account, but I kept getting sign-in errors. Once I changed my email on SideQuest to the one that I used for purchased Minecraft Java Edition, I was able to actually sign in to QuestCraft. It took a while, much frustrations, but that's how you do it. Hopefully that helps a lot of you. Also, I had to sign into the Microsoft Store with the email used to purchase Minecraft Java Edition prior to running the Minecraft installer. You might get a prompt that says, Microsoft Store not signed in. Just sign in with your Microsoft account or your Microsoft Outlook or Hotmail account. Now the other requirements. Number one, you will need a computer to initially run Minecraft. For someone that just bought Java Edition, I had no idea I had to create a Microsoft Gamer profile and then a Minecraft profile. I tried to log in, kept getting login errors despite having my side quest and Microsoft email account be the same. So yes, you have to run Minecraft Java Edition on a computer, PC, Mac at least once in order for this to, to work. Once you do that, you don't ever have to boot Minecraft up on your computer again for QuestCraft to work. And make sure you have a USB to USB-C cable. This is just for installing SideQuest, and with SideQuest, you can then get QuestCraft. Number two, you need to install SideQuest. In this video, I go over how to directly install SideQuest onto your headset. The method used involved an iPhone and a PC. And I'll include a timestamp um, to go over this install. And if you don't need it, you can go ahead and skip it. Number three, you need to purchase Minecraft Java Edition for PC and run it once. I know I'm repeating myself, but you do have to do this in order to get QuestCraft. That's Minecraft VR working natively on your quest. Now, once you do boot it from the Minecraft installer, you need to create your Microsoft Gamer account, and then you have to make your Minecraft profile account. All this is, in is gone over in my video. Now that we have all those requirements done, boot up SideQuest on your Quest 2 and sideload QuestCraft onto your headset. Next, open QuestCraft on your headset. Don't click sign in just yet. Go to microsoft.com slash link on your phone or PC and then click sign in. You will then be asked to go to the website I just told you, which was microsoft.com slash link, and then enter the code that's provided on your QuestCraft screen. 
Once you do, <clears throat> once you enter this code onto the website, you will then have to sign in with your Microsoft email account that you use to purchase Minecraft Java Edition and then accept the permissions that appear. Once it says that you can now close this window, uh, QX VR ha has now been granted permissions to log in. You can go back to Quest, you can go back to your Questcraft on your headset and click sign in. Be sure to change the version from 1.20.1 to 1.19.4 and then click play. 